this is a good time to be back in Las Vegas? Yeah, no, it's great to return. I mean, this is the fight capital of the world. It's a sports and entertainment town. Great to return. You know, this is a mini residency. Uh, you know, Ray Seffo, our president of fighter operations, you know, Ray resides here. We have a core team here who's based in Las Vegas. We have an office here. So it's a real, it's really, it's really exciting to be back. PFL Europe was a humongous success a few weeks ago. How excited were you about that? Yeah, it, it was absolutely met all of our expectations. You know, success up in Newcastle. Uh, we have uh, one more regular season event in uh, Berlin in July. Then we go to Paris for the playoffs for PFL Europe. And then we'll finish big in Dublin in December for the PFL Europe Championship. And it was one, this I mean, PFL Europe was just one of several international uh, regional leagues that the PFL will, will be launching in the next three years. And our vision of the sport is to have top fighters from all over the world at different stages of their pro career compete uh, in their region, in their countries, against top competition on major media platforms, but fighting for purpose to develop themselves, develop the sport, but to become regional champions. We'll have in-region competition within those leagues, pan-regional competition, and then that the top talent, those top performers within the regional PFL international leagues, those champions will have a pathway to PFL global to compete on a global stage against the next caliber of talent to become world champions. And that is our vision for the sport, for what we're building. It'll advance the sport, it will grow the sport, and it'll give fighters opportunities and, and, and major, major events with and a year-round calendar. I mean, this year we have uh, 24 events. Remember last year we just had 18 events. T two years ago we had 10 events. What I can tell you in three years time we'll have well over 40 events. And again, we're creating a system for the sport um, and it, it really answers the need. The need of fighters, the need of media companies, as, as well as fans. Fans want demand for more quality uh, MMA and competition year round and that's, that's our focus, that's our purpose. Why was Europe the first First place to go just the madness of the European. Fans. No, I mean it's, it is the top uh, growth growth region in the world. I mean, and and not just not just the UK, but all throughout Europe. I mean, there's so much demand for it. We see the growth, we see the opportunity, and there's a plethora of uh, top talent, you know, with within the region. So, what are you saying that expanding? So you're going to see a PFL Asia, PFL Australia, PFL Africa, something like that. Correct, and we'll be we'll be making uh, an announcement in the next three months on the second league uh, that we'll be launching, which will happen in 2024. What's the time frame you think that we might start seeing some of that talent here in the United States competing with some of the United States talent that we're already familiar with? Well, I, I mean, the, the, what you're seeing here in Las Vegas is our global league. So what I can tell you is uh, the, the season here, uh, the fighters who are fighting here in Vegas in the regular season, uh, half of this roster is made up of champions. Okay, 50% of the roster, 60 fighters, 30 of those fighters are champions, either returning PFL champions or champions from leagues around the world. So I mean, this is some of the best of the best fighters in the world competing for the PFL World Championship, million dollars on the line, four fights, less than eight months. One of the toughest challenges, one of the biggest tests in the sport. So those regional fighters, they're not there yet. They're looking to get on this stage. They're looking to take on the Larissa Pacheco's of the world and, and others in the league. So that's kind of how this system will work. Pete, with all of those fighters coming in, are you kind of anticipating some newer weight classes to kind of like add uh, uh, over time in the next few years? No, a great, a great question. I mean, we, it, within the global league, we have five men's, one, one women's weight class. You're seeing the women's tonight, the 145ers, which is a debut for us. We were 155 the last several years. Now we're 145. Uh, we're enjoying that different talent uh, coming into the league because of that new weight class. And what we're doing with regional leagues, we're, and, and our challenger series, we have women's 125. So we're developing that weight class. We'll develop other weight classes. So over time, you will see within PFL Global us expanding our roster, expanding weight classes. And now we can experiment uh, in, in other parts of the world to develop that talent. I'm assuming 
Latin South America is also going to be a big uh, shooting. There will be, you know, PFL Brazil slash LATAM, certainly PFL Asia, PFL Africa, PFL Middle East, uh, and, and we're, you know, defining a point of view in uh, other parts of the world, but it's, it's all in the works. You know, we're executing against the plan, and uh, more to come. It's very rare to see an amateur fight sort of so high up on the card, and obviously the Agios in action again tonight. What can you tell me about his sort of plans with the promotion? And I'm guessing you hope to welcome him as a pro as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, Biagio, you know, Ali Walsh. I mean, he is a he's a special fighter, not only because of you know the legacy of, of his family, but you see what his brother's doing in, in, in top rank in boxing. He's committed to this sport. You know, Ray Sefo and the team they saw something very special in Biagio. I mean, not only is he a captivating sort of personality, he's an amazing athlete. He's got multiple tools. He's fighting tonight. While it's an amateur fight, um, we thought it was befitting here in Vegas to give him uh, a main stage. Uh, he's a finisher, and, and, and he's now developing. So we're developing athletes like Biagio, who's an amateur on a major stage. And so, you know, he's prime time. And uh, he, he's going to give the fans a show tonight. It'll be a great fight. Uh, you know, no disrespect to his opponent. I mean, it, it is a, you know, this is going to be a major fight tonight. But he's special. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's playing at such a high level. He's training at Extreme Couture. He's spending time with Ray Sefa, with Randy Couture and others. He's committed to it. So it's fun to see an athlete develop. You know, and when he goes pro is when he'll be ready. When his team says he's ready, when he feels he's ready, when Ray Sefo says he's ready. Yeah, we'll be making announcements on the PFL Super Fight Division, uh, our first event in pay-per-view. You know, having having nothing to do with the season format. But top, top rank, top caliber talent, ranked you know, in the top 10 in the world. There's a, a couple of big fights in the making that we're building around. And I, I will tell you, in the next two months, we'll be making some announcements on that. And so the latter part of this year, we will uh, we'll, we'll, we'll debut the Super Fights uh, series. Have you been sort of in on places with uh, sort of requests and uh, conversations with fighters from sort of uh, across the uh, landscape? Yeah, we're in every conversation. I mean, when fighters are going into free agency, uh, they see what the PFL is building. They, they see what we stand for uh, in terms of uh, our platform, our capabilities, our ability to market, our ability to distribute, our ability to you know, create opportunity and, and create value, not only for the league, but for the fighters. And again, as we mentioned in our Super Fights division, we will share 50% of the revenue uh, with the fighters participating in that division. And um, you know, and that that's our commitment. You know, we don't just transact with athletes; we partner. So one more on here. So you've got the smart cages. People are really been instrumental in using technology to help the fighters and, and also the viewing public uh, follow what's going on in the cage. Can you use technology to help them out? It's something that the fans can look forward to. Well, I do want to share this, but I can't just yet. But we're really excited about about the smart smart cage. <laughs> I mean, for us, as you think about the differentiators, you know, what we stand for is, is really, you know, it's a fighter's first organization, the PFL, but to create an experience for fans that leverages fighter data, fight analytics, proprietary technology tied to the smart cage. So not just strike speed, but kick speed, requiring no wearables. We, we invented it, camera technology, and math is really at, at, you know, at hand there. But there's other technology and biometrics that I'm very excited about. And you'll see the PFL actually testing some new biometric measurements this season with some upcoming events. Is there anything you could tell us about uh, Jake Paul and when we can anticipate seeing him out? Well, you're going to see it tonight. Jake's going to make a special appearance you know, uh, tonight as an uh, exclusive interview. So more to come. Tune into that uh, within tonight's show. Uh, he's going to do some commentary as well, and uh, he'll provide a little color and context on his next moves, not only in boxing, but in the MMA. And what I can tell you, he is focused on uh, a major debut, a major opponent, and that'll happen in 2024. Is there anything you can kind of tell us about how that all came about? I mean, you know, given that he's been really heavy in the boxing scene, and then out of nowhere, we kind of thought 
you know, restore EPFL? Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, we, we've had a relationship for quite some time. You know, we were following his career, you know, obviously in boxing. And it's an authentic partnership that we, we created. I mean, Jake, what he stands for, he's an advocate for, for athletes, for, you know, boxers as well as MMA fighters. Very authentic to him. So our values are very consistent with Jake's values. So that was sort of number one. And then number two, um, you know, for him to come into the sport and partner with the PFL and be an exclusive MMA fighter with the PFL, I think speaks volumes to where the PFL is today as a global leader. Hey guys, we have, we have to wrap it up, so thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Just one quick one. Sure.